you. And my message today is very simple. Salute the woman of your life. Yes, my friends, salute the woman of your life because women are because of whom the world survives. Women are the force, they are the creators and they are the power because of which we all exist. And there are numerous reasons why we must respect the women of our life. But today, I'm going to focus on three prominent rational. Number one, the economic rational. Friends, if I were to ask you to tell me one biggest reason, single biggest reason why the Western world, even in our Asia, countries like China, Russia, Southeast Asian nations, have prospered. Could you think of the reason? Yes, my friends, the reason is nothing else but female empowerment. These societies, these civilizations grew so rapidly because they learned to respect and honor the women of their society. By saluting the women of our life, we are making sure that 50% of our demographic power is reinvigorated, is the mainstream and the backbone which will drive our nation to great economic prosperity. So, for the economic prosperity of the nation, the society and the family, salute the women of your life. The second reason is a reason which stems from family and social cause. If I were to ask you, does your child love you? Does your child respect you? You may think about it. If the answer is a little bit of a doubtful no, or you're pondering about it, don't go to any child psychologist, don't go to any kind of clinical psychologist. The answer, my friends, my male friends, my brethren, lies right there with you. And that is, your child will not do what you say, but your child will do what he sees you doing. And the answer again is, salute the woman of your child. A child can be offered the greatest gift by parents and that gift is not the love for the child, but your love for your spouse, the love for your wife, because it is because of this love for each other that you shall offer the wind under the wings of the child on which the child shall attain great heights and be someone who respects you, idolizes you. So salute the woman of your life for having a very wonderful, affectionate family. And finally, the third reason lies on the concept of emotional strength. Friends, it's a proven fact that women are towers of emotional power. Their ability to take emotional shocks and still keep standing firm like the rock of Gibraltar is something which doesn't need any further elucidation. On this occasion, I wish to take it as my great privilege to salute three women of my life who helped me become what I am. First and foremost is my mother, the Brahma, the Lord Brahma of my life, my creator. Everything that I am today, I owe to this Lord Brahma, which is my beloved mother, who shaped me, who sculpted me, who gave me all the virtues and allowed me to bloom and become what I am today. Without my mother, I wouldn't have been anywhere in my life. Thanks so much and I salute my mother today. Second, I wish to salute my beloved wife whom I love to call my Lord Krishna because just as in the epic battle of Mahabharata, Lord Krishna steered the chariot and guided Arjun, ensuring that Arjun goes on the right path, steering him away from difficulties and taking him on the right path of virtue. My beloved wife has been the Krishna who has been steering me through such difficult, challenging, and very demanding moments of life, becoming my source of power, my guidance. And finally, and above all, I wish to salute the most amazing woman of my life, which is my beloved daughter, my guiding angel, my North Star, who has been such an inspiration. And just to tell you a small incident, 
when I started my new entrepreneurial journey about a year and a few months back, it was my daughter who said that, Father, follow your passion, follow the purpose of your life, and I am there like a pillar. I do not need anything from you. I'll be there for you when you need me to give you everything that you want. But yes, go ahead and fulfill the purpose of your life. This is my North Star, my divine angel, my daughter. Just like these three, there have been numerous and very other females and women who have guided me, who have been my source of inspiration. And today, I salute them, bow to them and offer them my respect. Precisely like this, my friends, I sincerely beseech all of you that make a mark that on this auspicious day, you will salute each and every woman of your life. Be it your mother, your wife, your daughter, your sisters, your relatives, your friends, your society, because it is in this that we shall lay the foundation of a strong nation. And yes, at this very interesting moment, I recall a very interesting Hindi couplet, which is written in English dialect for you. Ek nahi do do matrain, ek nahi do do matrain, narse barkar nari. Yes. Female is definitely more empowered and enlightened to guide our society. And finally, my concluding message to all of you is that let us all salute the women of our life to make sure that we lead to the foundation of a happier nation, a happier society, and a happier family. So with these words, here's Gagan Singh signing for the day and wishing all the women of our lives a big salutation.